Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my new tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the same effect as in my tutorial that I made yesterday, except instead of using After Effects, I'll use Vegas. Uh, pretty much this tutorial uh, will be for that effect there. Um, looks like there's kind of text on the map with a nice shadow. Um, yeah, pretty much. This can be used in a different way as well, like like that um, how it's like actually on the wall kind of thing but I'll just show you that way and then you, it's exactly the same to get it on the wall pretty much so yeah um, let's get started open up Vegas and open up wherever your clip is and just import it and close out of that uh, just drag it to the start and I'll stretch it out because it's a bit fast. Alright, so we'll put the text in the exact same spot as we did in the last tutorial. So do this right click and go insert video track and insert text media. Now type in your message. I'm not giving anybody ideas here, I'm just, you know. Alright. So tap whatever you want, and then if you go to your track motion now, you can see everything's only 2D, you can't really do much, you can only move it and rotate it. But if you go to your compositing mode and go to 3D source alpha, you can see it changes to a little 3D, and then if you click it again, you've got all your 3D views here, and you can rotate it pretty much. Alright, so go drag the text to where you want it and then rotate it. As you can see it's already pretty much looking the same. Um, now you just want to line up the layers so it all looks nice. Um, now right click and go duplicate track and now you want to rotate this one down and adjust it. Alright I know it's not perfectly lined up, but let's just try and speed this up a bit. Okay, let's just pretend that's all looking good for now. Alright. Um, now we want to make it black and blur it a bit so it looks actually looks like a shadow. So go to your video effects and press I to bring up invert and just go 100% inversion which pretty much makes it black and now you want to find a blur so I'll just I know pretty much any blur works with this alright I'll just use this one here so you can just use soften and decrease the horizontal range and yeah just play around with those, or you can use like linear blurs and all that, doesn't really matter. Um, Alright, as you can see if you play a video, it looks pretty good until that little guy runs across it and then just kind of looks, turns to crap, but you know, just make sure you don't see him running across your text. That's pretty much all for now, so if you like this tutorial, definitely check out my videos, um, and subscribe, check out my other tutorials, which is in my playlist there, and go to tutorials quite a few so definitely check them all out and also check out these guys um, these five channels here they all do similar videos to me and yeah they're worth a subscription so definitely go see that alright thanks for watching and I'll see you next time